Hey guys, tfish 8 here with another figure review. Today we'll be taking a look at an Ultra Monster that appeared in an Ultraman movie, believe it or not. And without further ado, here he is. Grant. Grand King from Ultraman Story. So yeah, we'll be taking a look at Grand King today. So, yeah, Grand King. So before we look at the figure itself, let's look at his tag and game card. So here's his tag, as you can see, Ultra Monster Series. He is an EX figure. There's an in-game model from the video game. There's that. All that good stuff. Grand King right there. And uh, the back just has, you know, the numbers and stuff. And here's his game card. He is a monster card. Which is cool. Very nice in-game shot there. Looks really good. There's Taro. Some stats. I'm going to say that he's a really good monster. And he's a monster card. Which is cool. So, there you go. There's his tag and game card. Alright, so Grand King was released in 2009. Part of the Ultra Monster series. And as the tag stated, he's an EX figure. Which is cool, I must say. And yeah. So... Let's go ahead and take a look at articulation. Now, unfortunately, Grand King only has four points, and they are the basic four. The arms rotate 360. Um, now, there's one thing. The spikes on the elbows do kind of get in the way, and they can rub up, rub up against the thighs, which is bleh. But. And yes, the legs do both rotate 360. So, he's got the basic four points of articulation. Oh, well. So, what are you going to do? Now that we have articulation out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at detail. Now, detail on Grand King is fantastic. Just look at that. Face looks great. Very robotic. Looks great on him. All these little details add up to make the figure just look great. Here's a, his arm, left arm, which is a claw. The other arm. It just all looks really, really nice. No gripes at all with the detail. Looks great. It's really accurate also. Tail here ends nicely just the bot even the bottom of the tail detail really nicely done even the thighs here yeah it looks really good neck it's that face really nice just uh, everywhere all the little individual places just crevices and whatnot it just makes the figure look fantastic so yeah no gripes at all with the detail on this guy. As for paint job, Grand King is actually pretty accurate to the, you know, the, what he looked like in the movie. There, he's covered in um, metallic paint, sort of silver, gray, brown, just metallic looking, and it looks really good. There's of course this metallic sort of orange going down the chest here. Now, that looks nice. There's also for the eyes and the little cannon looking things. There's red, which looks good. And there's, of course, black and whatnot. It makes him look very robotic, which he should. So, paint job is really accurate to what you look like in Ultraman Story. Now, on to scaling. Now, unfortunately, Grand King falls short. No pun intended at all. He is extremely small. To give you an idea, here's Ultraman. <laughs> Grand King is very, very small. He should be huge. Like this. Very, very huge compared to Ultraman, but... Oh well. Bandai really undersized him, unfortunately. Now we'll get on to history. Like I said at the beginning of the video, he was originally in Ultraman's story, which was a 1984 film. 
He was formed by the spirits of many dead ultra monsters, and they came together to form him. Now he went up against five ultra brothers, the original Ultraman, you know, Hayata, Zafi, Jack, Seven, and Ace, and none of their attacks did anything. He was just impervious to anything that they could dish out. And just a very, very strong monster. Now, at the end of the film, um, all of the Ultra Brothers combine into Taro, and using all the power and might they have, their, you know, Taro manages to destroy Grand King by blowing him up. And it's pretty awesome, I must say. So, it, it's really cool. And this is just a very beastly monster. Just awesome. So, yeah. Anyway, um, in the end, Grand King is a really, really good figure. Four points of articulation, the basic points. Detail is fantastic. One of the most detailed Bandai figures I've ever seen. Uh, paint job is really, really good. Scaling is way, way off because Bandai just undersized him, unfortunately. And if you want to get him, uh, you know, eBay, he's kind of gotten a l little rare over the years since he's an EX figure. But I would totally recommend him. He's worth it completely. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review, and until next time, I'll see you. Excuse me, is this the line for monsters and aliens that are abnormally sized? I've been trying to find the line for a while.